Canvas Squarespace tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Canva with your Squarespace website. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to visit squarespace.com. Create an account within this platform, then you are going to set up the account dashboard. Right there, as you can see, I have already connected my dashboard and also my account. Now we have multiple websites. Go ahead and choose whatever your website you are going to work with, and then we're going to click on it. If you didn't and you don't have a website yet, you're going to click on create website. Then you will see the multiple templates. Select one of them, set the description, also the title of your website then you can go ahead and add some elements and also customize them. Now, after you have set your website, you're going to select it like that. Click on website and here it will open up the website editor. Right there, I'm going simultaneously to Canva. I'm going to, or you need to uh, connect or sign in into your account and you will see here the dashboard. Canva is used for creating simple and also complicated designs. For example, you can go ahead and create logos and add them to your websites. You can create posts, for example, banners, flyers. Let's say uh, you are going to create pop-ups, examples or templates and etc. For example, here we have the website itself. So we can click on edit right there or we can seek for the pages. You can click on the pages and see the menu right there showing up. We have the blogs. If you want to create a blog, you can create a template for a specific blog. You can create some posts. Let me give you an example for something that you can go in to add from Canva. Like we are going to seek for the home page. Then we are going to select animated. For example, let's go ahead and click on create design and search for animated like that logos. Here we have the uh, exact frame or exact dimension, which is 500 by 500. Now you can go ahead and click on the background, let it white, for example, or make it fully transparent. So we are going to add a logo and that logo, I'm going to add something to it. Let's go ahead right there and add a section. So we are going to click on edit on the uh, Squarespace website. Then we're going to add a section. So go ahead and click on add section like that. I'm going to use a blank section and I will let the color of it white. So we're going back right there into Canva. Now we are going to create some logos. I'm going to create element, for example, let's go ahead and create a element or choose an element for shopping. Here I need the cart icon, so I will check the graphics. Since they have a no background, I will go ahead and use them. So we are going to see that. Here we are going to add the shop. Go ahead and make it your way, bigger or smaller. It is up to you, like this. You're going to click on download. Then within Canva, I have the premium feature to get the image as a transparent background. So I'm going to download it like that. We have the first thing. So the second thing is to add, for example, store. I'm going to see the graphics like that. Here we have the store. I'm going to use maybe this one. I'm going to set it like that to the middle, make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to download that. So we are going to get it as a PNG. This uh, animated feature or the premium feature of getting a background free or removed is for um, the pro version and not the uh, free one. So we are going to see here if the image is already set. Now we are going to see right there, the premium image can be exploring its own. So we have the problem with this one. So we are going to set this like that and see if we can go ahead and export it like this. Go ahead and download it. It doesn't matter, add more elements, then we can go ahead and set. For example, I'm going to add flexibility like that. 
and I'm going to add it like this at the top. So we are going to download it like that. Uh, here, I'm going to download like this. And here we have the two logos. I'm going back to the section. Then we are going to add a block. And these blocks, we are going to select the images. For example, I'm going to add another image block like that to this specific page. So make this like that. And then we're going to upload a file. Go ahead and add your designs like that. You see how simple it is to add these type of files. It is very, very simple and very attractive. So we are going to add some new blocks. Either you go ahead and add a text, for example, like that under this image. And also for this one, I'm going to duplicate. Maybe I'm going to try and duplicate this one for the uh, next image like that. Or you can go ahead and add another block simply by that. Go ahead and see the same right there placement of it. And here we have it. So we are going to set the alignment to the middle. This also we're going to set it to the middle. And for that, I'm going to set very flexible options like that. And here we are going to set online. Here it wasn't writing. So online. Payments plans, for example, and you are going to select all the text. For example, the paragraph, make it bold. Like that, make it bold a little bit right there. You can go ahead and choose the font of it. For example, for the headlight, you can set some headlight for the text. In my case, I will not go ahead and see that, but you can go ahead and put whatever you want. Here we have some uh, uh, right there plain text you can add some links also for this one i'm going to copy right there all of this make it bold you can go ahead and use whatever you want you can use some quotes for example and this is the first feature of canva and integrating each other to squarespace that was just uh, the first example let's go ahead and say that we are going to add another section and this section is going to be Let's say for here, we are going to set a video and then we are going to set, for example, like that. I'm going to add a section for a video here for that text. I'm going to remove it like that. And for the video, I'm going simply to set the video. You can go ahead and edit that. You can create a video using Canva. You can go ahead and head over the website itself. Go ahead to canva.com. Then we are going to set video on the search bar right there. You are going to see all of the uh, templates that are available. For example, let's go ahead with this one and see what result we will get. Here we have uh, some slides. And also this is a created video. It has some right there. Uh, as you can see, the English right there captions, I think. Let's say that this is a video that we have created. It is a, a form of slides and also a normal video with some animations. You can animate these. As you can see here, we have some cool features set. For example, this one, these are GIF files or GIF photos. You can go ahead and set them like that. And here we have some right there, as you can see, some threads and some uh, statistics. You can go ahead and download that image. For example, like that, download it as a MP4. Then you can go ahead and replace that by uploading the image itself. The third option that you can use Canva for here, I'm just making it simple. So you can go ahead and use whatever is in Canva contained from videos, photos, design, and also slides and presentations. You can integrate it with uh, Squarespace. It is very easy. So I'm going to talk about another thing like the integration of a page or a website into this specific one. So let's go ahead and add, for example, a design. I'm going to embed this design into Canva or within Squarespace. So I'm going to visit Canva again. Then we're going to use the 
uh, for example, the word search. Here I have a word search like this in my case. And then we're going to integrate that word search into something more attractive. So how can we do that? We're going to click on the share button like that. And then we're going to click on more. Into more, right here, we have the option to set it as embed. Click on embed. And now we are going to embed that design. So right there, we have two options. Either you go ahead with the HTML embed code, or you have the smart embed link. So go ahead and copy the HTML embed code. Go back to Squarespace. Get your space ready. For example, I'm going to get this space ready. This is a uh, empty section. You're going to add a block. From that block, you are going to click on code. And then it will pop up right there a page. Click on the pen tool to edit that. Delete all of the coding that has been added from Squarespace. Paste your code right there. And then we're going to see. Go ahead right there and see like that. Make it a little bit wider like that. And as you can see, the design is fully integrated in this page. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, maybe a little bit wider like that. I'm going to make it wider like this and place it wherever you want like that. And here we have it. So here we have the design. If you want to see it, it is a, a form of slides. You can go ahead and switch between these slides and make your own design like that. How cool is this? That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.